Pack. So the big gulf just north of Chiapas. sailing um, across part of the Tuantepec, so the big gulf just north of Port Chiapas that has some pretty hazardous conditions at times. We were waiting for a couple parts and pieces to come in the mail and they just never showed up, so instead of waiting for the parts and pieces, Riley did, did his thing and made, made our what we had on the boat work. So today's projects, one of today's projects is replacing this pump which feeds uh, from our aft water tank which we don't drink out of, we just use it for fresh water wash downs. Um, the pressure switch is starting to act up and not function all the time and generally you got to give it a little bit of a love tap underneath it to get it to work. about or proud about but it was just a necessity um, was this bilge pump here this was the our main bilge pump that uh, takes all the water whether it be fresh or salt from showers or leaks or whatever it may be um, and takes it out of the engine room and pumps it overboard and it's got a pretty long push it's probably about it's midship, so it's probably got about at least 15 feet, and it exits out the back of the boat, so it's one of their heavier duty uh, diaphragm pumps. This is an older Jabsco model. Uh, it's the 34600. They make service kits for them. They're not 
cheap, but they're not horrible. Um, but basically all you can get is the set of valves that are down here, uh, the belt and the diaphragm itself. So what had happened is, is when they originally made these things, these ports right here that come out of the, the plastic body were probably a bronze uh, or a copper. I'm not sure which. And they were a strange flange compression style. And when we got back onto the boat in Chiapas, um, I was testing out the bilge pump before we got splashed just to make sure everything was working. And what had happened is, is I wiggled on the discharge hose side and it broke off. The flange did. So we held off leaving Chiapas. We went ahead and splashed because we knew we didn't have any leaks anywhere in the boat. So we were okay sitting in the marina, but we didn't want to get underway uh, without a functioning pump. <clears throat> so we ordered one from Amazon and long story short, it never showed up. Um, with the Tawanapex just to the north of us blowing, we had a very small window of time to get through it and we needed to get moving. We'd already been in Chiapas for about two weeks. So we had a, an individual who was coming down um, from the States. We shipped a new pump to him, a replacement one for this, and we had it shipped down, um, or he brought it down. So in the meantime, I just decided I needed to try and make some sort of repair. So I went through some of my plumbing supplies and I found a one inch port. That's what these are. Uh, one inch port um, ID. And then they have a one inch port coming out of it as well. So I found this one inch to three quarter. Uh, just plastic piece that was not in the greatest shape, so I wasn't too worried about uh, abusing it. I cleaned up the inside of the, the metal flange here. This piece of plastic is threaded, and I simply just kind of sandpapered it down a little bit to smooth up the edges uh, just by hand. And then I took the pump out. It was sitting on the workbench, flipped it upright, and then I basically took a socket that was the same uh, outside diameter of this right here, and I just drove it in there with a hammer. Um, didn't put any glue on it, didn't put anything, um, and since it's three quarter, and I needed to step back up to one inch. I got these at the Home Depot in Tapachula and just made it work. And thus far, it's holding. It doesn't even leak any water. The water you are seeing is from me uh, checking to see if uh, our raw water impeller uh, was still functioning. The raw water impeller is right here, but it's kind of a pain and you have to reseal this place. So what I do is I take it off on the back of the oil um for a transmission and engine oil cooler and i just pop this hose off and just put my finger in there and see if there's any pieces of the raw water impeller in there so that's what the water is is some seawater came out of there and then i just cleaned it up with fresh water and then out the bilge pump so if anybody's got any uh of these 34 600 uh, bilge pumps like this from jabsco and you are like me you can't find these bottom plates anymore because they don't make them um, I think well, the only thing I would have done differently is I would have found a one to one inch. Uh, it would have been a thinner wall, um, but I think it would still work. And I actually have a spare one of these whole pumps that are also both missing the intake and discharge side. And I think what I'm going to do is to have another spare is I'll probably find some uh, one inch um, OD plastic pieces uh, and then just cram them in there. Um, and it seems to work. Uh, like I said, I'm not that proud of it. Um, but sometimes things don't have to be brand new in order to function properly. Um, so we still have the new pump. It's on its way. We're going to pick it up in Puerto Vallarta when we get up there. Uh, but for the meantime, this one works. And I have another one underneath our bed that I will do the, the same repair to. Um, so we'll have that one. And then we'll also have a brand new one. So we'll have three diaphragm bilge pumps. So that was one of the... Yeah, just one more repair, boat work. So, 36, 37 hours of solid boat life. Don't hit the turtle. Don't hit the turtle. Don't hit the turtle.
the turtles were wrestling? Yeah. How many turtles did you see wrestling? I saw two. Two? Yeah. Starting off our season right. Coming into our first anchorage of the year. At night. <laughs> Probably even wearing the same stuff. Classic Tinku yeah. operations here. We timed it. Except this time we got a toddler. Yeah. A crazy one. Oh, Where do you want to go? Um, from Florida. Florida? Do you want to go back to Florida? Yeah. Do you want to hang out with Drew? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Do you want to party with Drew again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>